All this week on Dateline Schools, have the privilege of meeting the October Distinguished Teacher of the Month. So we're at Crawl Elementary School, the home for special education teacher Melissa O'Hare. And Melissa, as a county truancy officer, one of the things I try to work with every day, of course, is getting kids at school, having that good attendance. How do you work with your kids so that they're here every day and want to be here every day? Well, I think first and foremost, we make it fun. And it, it's got to be fun or they're not going to want to come. There's learning in there and there's behavior um, systems in place, but it's fun. And it, I guess I'm tricking them in a way. They don't know that I'm teaching them things. They just think this is fun and they are excited to come. I know one student in particular, his mom has said in the past, in the rooms he's been in before, he didn't want to come to school any day of the week. He didn't want to come to school. And he is he wakes up every morning excited to come. So. I think whatever we're doing is working, so we're going to keep on doing it. We make it fun. We have um, we have charts and graphs that we you know mark the days that they're here. We encourage the building itself right now is doing um, an attendance challenge that so every, and all the classrooms have their percentage of attendance, mm -hmm. and the classrooms that have the highest percentage get awards at the end of the month. So they're working for that too. They're pretty excited about that. And that's a class or that's a school wide thing. Another thing too that was mentioned in your nomination was that you really work with the kids for building self confidence. And so obviously attendance and self confidence really go hand in hand. Oh, absolutely. And we're we're working on their mindset. We're really trying to move the kids from a fixed mindset of I can't do this, I'm not good enough to a growth mindset that says I can't do this yet. Mm -hmm. And I think that was a lot of the some of the the confidence issues come from that because they think I don't want to go to school because I can't do this. I'm the kid that gets in trouble all the time. And now they come in here and they know, okay, I can't do this yet, or my, I'm not perfect <laughs> yet. Well, I tell them I don't expect perfection anyways. I'm not perfect. I don't expect them to be perfect. But So that yet at the end of everything really seems to help them because they just know they're going to back, come back the next day and keep trying. That's one of those soft skills that we talk about that kids need to learn in schools that you may not realize that you really need to have. Absolutely. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.